Hello, everybody. Welcome to the table. Today, we are taking a look at an unopened Benchmade knife. And from what I can tell, this knife dates back at least 20 years. And I have done some research here on this knife, but as far as I know, there is no history book on Benchmade knives. So keep in mind, what I say here could be slightly wrong. So if you are a Benchmade aficionado, please feel free to chime in and share your information in the comments below. That being said, this may be a longer video than normal because I want to take a good look at the packaging here and get a good feel of the early 2000s vibes we have on this Benchmade. So the model of this knife is the Benchmade Mini Ascent 2. Even to this day, I don't see too many Benchmades sold in clamshell type packaging like this. So I'm guessing this was a model intended for a large retailer, maybe a Cabela, a Bass Pro Shop, maybe a Walmart. So we can see in the description here on this package, we have some ambidextrous function, as the knife can of course be opened with either hand. The length of the blade is 2.9 inches, and it doesn't state it, but the overall length of this knife is coming in at 7 inches long. It also doesn't state the weight of the knife, but we're going to find that out before the end of the video. Uh, but it does say right here we have a lightweight and durable handle, so we'll hear more about that later as well. And as we can see, this is a plastic handle knife with a lockback mechanism. It looks like we have a limited lifetime warranty, which is still very true for Benchmade to this day. And the Mini Ascent 2 is made in the USA. But check out the aesthetic on the packaging here. We have lots of blue, lots of gray, big, bold black fonts. It's all very busy. And of course, the phrase here, get it, get out, enjoy. So it's very much aimed, in, in my opinion, it looks like it's aimed at the outdoor you know, enthusiast market. So the original retail price tag is still on this package, but sadly it was kind of half removed, so we can't actually see the original price. So we can see it was something 95. So for the early 2000s, I would guess a price tag, uh, maybe a price tag of around 29.95. What do y'all think out there? So this color palette they used is actually kind of detrimental in my opinion, as on the back it makes it somewhat difficult to read the blurb of text they have up here. So let's try it out. Let's see what it says. So the Ascent 2 series sports knives are a better choice lightweight knife. These knives are designed and built by people much like yourself who enjoy getting out and enjoying the outdoors and want their gear to be able to keep up with them. Whatever the activity, whether it be general use around the house or rugged use on your outdoor adventures, these cutting tools offer you great performance. The blades can be easily opened single-handedly for quick, safe function. Okay, I was able to read it well enough, I suppose, <laughs> but more of the descriptions on the package here. So the clip point blade offers great utility. Uh, again, it's ambidextrous to open the blade and it's super sharp out of the package. And I guess we're going to test that too in a few minutes. Uh, it says we have an oversized pivot pin for strong blade function. And so I guess it looks kind of like a good size pivot pin for a smaller knife. We have a lightweight, durable Zytel handle with texture. And so this is this plastic is Zytel, so not Grivery, not GRN, not FRN. And I don't know if these plastics really have any meaningful difference from one another, but we can call this handle Zytel. So that works for me. So as down here, we have a movable steel carry clip. Although, looking at this knife, this is a single position pocket clip. So probably more accurate to call this clip removable as opposed to movable. And what I find interesting there is that eventually models of this knife did have a repositionable pocket clip. So the packaging would later on be accurate with future renditions of this knife, just not this one here. And right beneath that, we can see the copyright for this package is 2001. So this kind of gives us a ballpark figure as to when this knife was produced and when it was available on store shelves. And it says right here too, we, we can see that warranty information and instructions are printed inside, so we can check that out in a minute. What I'm hoping here is that I can open this clamshell pack without damaging it. It looks like it has these pegs on the packaging, which I hope will just pop right open because I don't really want to in, you know, entirely destroy the packaging here. So as we open this package, let's learn a little bit about the Benchmade Ascent and Mini Ascent series. So these knives were some of the earliest variants of the classic one-hand opening lockback knife that Benchmade offered at the value end of their lineup in the early 2000s. So I am guessing that this one is a later model that, again, was probably offered in big box retail stores. And I have two pieces of evidence to kind of support my guess here. So first, 
The blade steel on this knife is 440C, and that was a fairly low-end steel for a Benchmade, even for this time period. Most versions of the Ascent seem to have been made starting with ATS-34 steel early on in the production, and later on it seems that 154CM kind of became the standard. You know, second, I like I mentioned before, the pocket clip on this knife is only single position, so it's right hand tip down carry. You know, every other photo of the Ascent I have seen online shows the option for tip up carry as well, but it was omitted here. So my theory is that the lower end steel and the single pocket position clip or single position pocket clip <laughs> were done as a cost saving measure. Since this knife was destined to be on retail store shelves, the final price had to be pretty low to be competitive with other brands. You know, it was really interesting researching out these early Benchmade models because there were so many changes to these knives over the years when they were offered. You know, early versions of the Ascent were called the Eclipse, and some variants of that knife had a round opening hole like a Spyderco. And so assuming that Benchmade's relationship with Spyderco over that didn't go so well, later versions of the knife had the opening hole changed to an opening oval shape to avoid infringing on that Spyderco trademark. And even then, some later versions of the Ascent as well also had thumb studs. So I have on the table right here a full-sized Ascent with the thumb studs. And we can see this one here. It has the same handle pattern, same texture. It has a reversible pocket clip. And it's the same general blade shape, except as you can see, it has thumb studs. And it's full size. You know, Benchmade seems to have released so many variants of this knife over its lifetime. Um, but sadly, the Ascent's last year in the Benchmade catalog was 2003. And at that point, Benchmade's domestic knife production seemed to be going all in on axis lock knife designs. And so the next year in 2004, its place in the catalog was taken by the very similar Benchmade Pika. And so the Pika was part of Benchmade's long discontinued red class knives, which were budget knives imported from China, but under the Benchmade name. And before we get too off topic on that, the last version of this design was sold under Benchmade's H&K branding, and it was still called the Pika, and it was still produced overseas. It really just had some cosmetic changes to the design. It had a deep carry pocket clip now, uh, but the overall shape of the knife was still very similar to the original Benchmade Ascent design. And sadly, even those are you know, long now discontinued. But I am very pleasantly surprised, though, with the amount of information on the inside of the paper insert. Some really awesome info in there. And even new knives from Benchmade typically don't have this much literature included with the knife anymore. You know, but let's take a closer look at this Mini Ascent 2. So now that we can get a little closer to it, let's check out the blade. It looks like it has a satin finish. And the show side of the blade here has the Benchmade USA Butterfly logo on it and the model number 824. So we have an oval shaped opening hole and there is some jimping on the spine of the blade. On the reverse side of the blade here, the only marking we have is the 440C steel designation. And we can take a quick look and see if the blade is sharp out of the package as advertised. So, oh yeah, we have a good edge there. It's pretty sharp. So that's really impressive. And taking a good look at the handles, the Zytel here, it does have a decent texture to it, very similar to the larger Ascent I have on the table here. Checking out the lockback action now. Take a look at this. This is really tight, you know, really clicky. And I think this may be because it's so new and it's, of course, unused. You know, listen to that clicking sound it makes. So very tight. This, this tightness kind of reminds me of the cold steel triad lock. If you've ever used one of those, you know, you know how tough that lockback style mechanism can be to actuate. So I'm thinking over time it will probably loosen up once the metal surfaces here kind of get more used to wearing against each other. And looking at the action of the blade itself, it opens easy enough and it seems to open nicely you know, from either side, so it is definitely ambidextrous as advertised. But let's see how flickable it is. You know, I think with some wrist action, you could probably flick this blade out. And again, I think the action will get better as the knife itself does break in. But what really interests me here, <laughs> let's chat about this pocket clip. 
Now, like I said, it is single position only, you know, understandable. Uh, but what I really like about this clip is that this is an older style Benchmade clip. And I don't think they make these kind anymore. You'll notice the text on it. It says Benchmade USA, which I don't think they put that on the clips anymore. The newer ones I've seen all just say Benchmade alone. And this clip here, it also looks to have the black oxide finish, which is going to show wear and tear a lot better than the black paint that the pocket clips come in today. So in my opinions, it's kind of one of the standout features of this knife to get this older style clip, because to me it's more desirable. And most likely, I'm probably going to swap this clip out onto one of my other Benchmades, since I prefer this style of clip so much more. You know, and since we're already out of the package now, we can do a size comparison, because I wanted to compare the Mini Ascent here to the uh, Benchmade Mini Griptilian. So the Mini Grip has kind of taken on the role of the plastic handled lightweight Benchmade, so we can see them side by side, and they're actually pretty comparable. So let's take a look. You know, and while the knives are out, we can also compare the weight of the knives. So the Mini Ascent is going to be coming in. It's pretty lightweight. It feels very lightweight. And it's going to be coming in at 1.7 ounces. And the Mini Grip here, by comparison, it's going to be coming in a little bit heavier at 2.6 ounces. So I'm actually pretty impressed with the lightweight of the knife overall. You know, so for 2001, the Mini Ascent here would not be a bad option for a knife you could pick up at, you know, retail store. And in fact, it was probably one of the better options for the price at the time. But in 2022, you know, I wouldn't really go out of my way and pay collector pricing for this knife, especially if you're just looking for a user. You know, and I hope you all enjoyed looking at the Benchmade Mini Ascent 2 here. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and have a nice day, everybody. Bye-bye.